Oh, I, I, I think he is a war criminal. Further escalation of the war, whether by accident or design, threatens all of humanity. Raising the alert of Russian nuclear forces is a bone-chilling development. The prospect of nuclear conflict, once unthinkable, is now back within the realm of possibility. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham suggesting the Russian people get rid of him. You need to take this guy out by any means uh, possible. Putin is trying to bait the trap so that uh, we go in, and that's the beginning, could be the beginning of World War III. Uh, Putin totally irresponsible using weapons that are not allowed under the Geneva Connect Convention. Putin, who uh, threatens chem use of chemical weapons, um, nuclear, and the rest. So myself, when I see that, that those tanks, that 40 miles of tanks, I'd like to take out those tanks. I mean, I, I think that they're covered. Them having more planes might be useful, but that I'm not a, a military sp strategist. Mm -hmm. And uh, Russia now announcing they're likely to ban exports of wheat and oats and uh, buckwheat and, and other grains all the way through June 30th. And that's on top of, of course, Ukraine banning the exports of all those grains and Hungary banning exports of wheat. Why is this happening? Because these countries know that there's a global shortage and that they have to protect their domestic supply. Now, China was very smart about this strategically. They bought up grain supplies around the world over the last, let's say, eight months or so. They're sitting on about 18 months of wheat right now. But the United States does not have really a strategic grain supply. We're going to be facing severe shortages and price inflation in the grocery stores, hitting the U.S. in the second half of this year, accelerating from about August all the way through the end of the year. But I think what we're going to see in the United States is that the prices will get so high on not only grains, but then meat and dairy and eggs, because all of those products come from animals that are fed the grains. So most of the grains in the world are actually grown to feed animals, not to feed people. And so we're going to see huge increases in meat prices beyond what we've seen already. So flash mobs are going to start looting grocery stores in, in huge numbers and stealing the meat primarily. But just the food rationing they will have to implement food rationing passports, which is a mark of the beast system to verify your identity. It might be a face scan, an iris scan, a thumbprint scan, or maybe just your mobile phone that's tied to your identity. There's going to be more stimulus money handed out and the money to, to buy groceries. There's, there are going to be at least 10 million more Americans put on food stamps, eventually, maybe in 23 or 24. They'll say that if you wanna buy food, under the food rationing system, you must use the central bank digital dollar control system. And that's how they're gonna starve people into the mark of the beast, Federal Reserve crypto system controlled by the government. When you look at the state of the world right now, what's the first word that springs to your mind? We have to think how to structure, how to design the post-corona era. And here, of course, the word reset comes to my mind because one thing is clear, we cannot come back to the old normal. Klaus Schwab's deceptively incompetent Great Reset plan, Pete Buttigieg, has made a mockery of the Office of the Department of Transportation. I'm still surprised that some people were surprised when I pointed to the fact that uh, if a highway was built for the purpose of di dividing a white and a black neighborhood, or if an underpass was constructed such that a bus carrying mostly black and Puerto Rican kids uh, to a beach, or there would have been, uh, in New York was, was designed uh, too low for it to pass by, but that obviously reflects racism that went into those design choices. Pete Buttigieg and his, his party have been talking about how South Bend has been systemically racist for as long as I've been here. There hasn't been a Republican mayor since before I was born. The South Bend Common Council is dominated by Democrats. If South Bend is a systemically racist city, it is because the Democratic Party made it that way. Acting as a tentacle of the World Economic Forum's Great Reset Agenda, 
Buttigieg urged his comrade Trudeau to use his federal powers to end the truck blockade. The two leaders agreed that the actions of the individuals who are obstructing travel and commerce between our two countries are having significant direct impacts on citizens' lives and livelihoods. Meanwhile, Biden's handlers tighten the screws on free speech as the DHS bulletin asserts that the U.S. is in a heightened threat landscape due to the proliferation of false or misleading narratives which so discord or undermine public trust in U.S. government institutions. When this comes to America, I hope the mayors, you, you may not want to call yourself conservative, but I promise you, citizens in your community will thank you if you don't allow anarchy to break out in your streets the way it broke out in Canada. Could we return to the traditional multilateralism, do you think, or is the world on a new path? I think also here we need a reset. We cannot go back to the system of multilateralism which we have established after World War II. Uh, what we need is a reform of the international system. Just think of the WTO. Uh, we have to integrate uh, the new dimensions of global trade, like um, everything which has to do with e-commerce and so on. So um, definitely uh, multilateralism will get the boost by the election of um, President uh, Biden. Um, and I'm very hopeful that we can now create the necessary systems which we need for the 21st century. As the war on American patriots stays on course regardless of the FBI director's recent realization of the massive threat the Chinese pose as they infiltrate all layers of U.S. national security. I used to give out my phone number. Can't do that anymore. They don't even allow me to have a phone anymore. Uh, not only are you worried that your child may die, but you're stripped of your dignity. You're stripped of your sense of who you are not being able to afford that child's needs. I started the Cancer Moonshot, which I worked very hard on in the administration, the administration I served in last. <laughs> and, um... Meanwhile, Biden then addressed the country with flagrant, desperate propaganda, attempting to keep the doomed New World Order narrative going. An invasion remains distinctly possible. That's why I've asked several times that all Americans in Ukraine leave now before it's too late to leave safely. If Russia decides to invade, that would also have consequences here at home. But the American people understand that defending democracy and liberty is never without cost. And if Russia attacks the United States or our allies through asymmetric means, like disruptive cyber attacks against our companies or critical infrastructure, we are prepared to respond. Well, we're moving in lockstep with our NATO allies and partners to deepen our collective defense against threats in cyberspace. I will not pretend this will be painless. There could be impact on our energy prices. So as the economy tanks and gas prices shoot past historic records, Putin, open to diplomacy, ordered the withdrawal of troops while the Russian Federation's side of the story was spun out of control. Unfortunately, so seven years down the road, we are increasingly years. thinking well, uh, that the implementation the of the Minsk agreements is not something that in the plan that's in the plans of our Ukrainian neighbors. Biden's handlers at the United Nations have been given their marching orders. Their masters require a world war to feed the dwindling spending of defense departments and the reaping of war profits. Russia plans to manufacture a pretext for its attack. This could be a violent event that Russia will blame on Ukraine or an outrageous accusation that Russia will level against the Ukrainian government. We don't know exactly the form it will take. It could be a fabricated so-called terrorist bombing inside Russia the invented discovery of a mass grave, a staged drone strike against civilians, or a fake, even a real, attack using chemical weapons. 